Hallelujah, glory to God, wonderful people. My name is Prince, Prince Kisi. I'm just coming your way again with yet another word that God has just dropped in my spirit and I feel I feel pressed in my heart and in my spirit to share this word with somebody so you know. So I have come to understand that many a times Christians belittle God. We 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 make God look small. But understand, somebody sang a song and said that you are bigger than what people say. Whatever John saw on the island of Patmos, whatever he wrote in the book of Revelations, whatever thing that he said, if you follow it carefully, you realize well, whatever thing that he saw, he said, and it was like, and he was like, and it was like, and I saw that, and it was like. That means he was only trying to liken it. He couldn't give a vivid explanation. He was only trying to liken it to something that you and I would understand. Many Christians tend to belittle God. That is why we don't see the power of God. God spoke to me and said, Son, just make this video. Even if one person sees it, let people know that there is a supernatural power that is in God that they have to experience. But you only experience the supernatural power if you have faith. You have to believe. You have to have faith. What you don't have faith in, it becomes very impossible and difficult for you to receive. The Bible says that without faith, no one can please God. So faith has become the confidence in what we hope for and the assurance about what we do not see. It is the confidence in what we hope for and the assurance about what we do not see. What are you believing God for? What are you praying about? What are you fasting about? Do you have faith? Believe it can be done. These days when there is a miracle or when somebody is blessed, when somebody becomes a multi-millionaire, when somebody becomes a star, when somebody becomes great, the first thing that comes in the mind of people is, uh, can it be that he went to see some malam or some juju or some native doctor somewhere? We make it look as if God cannot bless anymore. But this God he is the God that makes impossibilities possible. He is the God that raises the dead. He is the God that says it will not rain and it will not rain. He is the Alpha and He is the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. The Bible said, God said, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all the earth. Is there anything that is too hard for me? Why have we belittled God? Why do we make it as if He cannot bless? The Bible says after the people of Israel have suffered for years, their freedom came. And, and, and on their way into the promised land, the Bible said, Pharaoh released them. But he only released them to follow them later. They thought he did them good. But he did them the good to hurt them later. And in this world, some people can do you good to hurt you later. Don't take the fact that somebody gives you money or somebody is paying your rent. It's a sign of love. No. I have come to experience that people can love you only to hate you later. Pharaoh released them for them to go. On their way to their promised land, the Bible said he attacked them. He came from behind. Now the people of Israel had the Red Sea in front of them. And they had Pharaoh and his army behind them. Somebody is watching this video right now. In front of you, behind you, troubles. It looks as if nothing is going on for you. I get messages, people are crying, people are wailing, stuff are going on in the lives of people. It looks as if help is not coming from anywhere. I am here to tell you help has come to you today. The Lord has assigned me to tell somebody that he has released your help for you. He has released your miracle for you. He is, you see, we make it look as if God is a difficult God. He said, even if you human beings, you know that you will not give your children stones, how much more me? When your children ask you for fish, will you give them snakes? How much more me, your God? When they were in this situation with Pharaoh behind them and the Red Sea in front of them, the Bible said that God, through his servant Moses, parted the waters into two. Now hear this. If it was some of us in the days of Moses, I'm telling you that fear will not let us walk through the Red Sea. We will say Moses is something else. We read that scripture and we read it like that. But you have to understand that it is the Red Sea we're talking about here. Bible said it parted until they saw dry grounds and they walked on dry grounds. It will take faith 
for you to receive your miracle. God may open the door for you, but if you don't believe it and if you don't have faith, you will miss the mark and you will die. What would have happened if they had stood there wondering how could the water part if they had stood there and doubted God? What would have happened? I'm telling you, Pharaoh would have killed them. The Red Sea that was meant to, 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 to kill Pharaoh, if they had delayed a little bit in doubt and stood there, it would have killed them. Something that is supposed to kill your enemies, your faith, the fact that you don't have faith, it can let that thing kill you. Today, have faith. Why is God telling me this? I can hear the Spirit of God tell me right now that He's about to open major doors for people. He's about to do the incredible. He's about to open barren wombs. He's about to raise the dead. He's about to open marriage doors. He's about to open education doors. He's about to bless somebody. He's about to bless you and blow your mind. But do you believe He can do it? Do you have faith? Have faith today. Because your miracle has come. I pray for you that even as you hear this word and you watch this video, may the hand of God be strong upon your life. Receive faith and may God help you. May God give you the grace to be a man of faith, a woman of faith, a man of prayer and a woman of prayer that you stand in these days, that you will see the glory of God in your life. God is speaking to me that somebody watching this video, he is going to make you a pace setter and a history maker in your family and in your generation. Something that has never happened before. God will use you to do it in your house. He will use you to do it in your nation. He will use you to do it in your soccer team. I am speaking to you. He will use you to do it in your ministry. God bless you. And may the Lord keep you like I always say, I'll see you another day with another word from the early Leon. Until then, live in peace, reign in peace. Shalom. Hallelujah. Amen.